What's going on everybody? JD here and today we're going to fix my busted old daily. The Jeep affectionately known as Myrtle. Uh, so, without anything else to say, roll intro. Alright guys, so uh, yesterday didn't exactly go as planned. By that I mean this car broke down on me on my way to church. So I figured I'd take this as an opportunity to uh, fix it, of course, and uh, vlog a little bit with you guys. Um, <clears throat> so today I'm gonna kinda talk about uh, my choice to seek self-employment, my, my decision to not work another day miserably because I've been blessed with the, the talents and abilities to do things such as uh, film for YouTube, uh, be a professional photographer, and even turn wrenches on the side as needed for money. So I'm gonna get started working on this car. Uh, what actually happened to it is the idler pulley. There's a, there's a, you know, there's a belt tensioner and then s some vehicles have an idler pulley. For example, this 4.0 Jeep has one that's up by the alternator. That pulley failed, seized up, and when it seized, it locked on the bolt. The belt therefore loosened the bolt and launched it out of the back of the car going down the road. Uh, much to my dismay, I lost power steering at about 55, 60 miles an hour running down the road and had a great, just highly entertaining time getting the car onto the side of the road so I could safely stop and figure out what happened. But anyway, it's sitting here and I've got all the parts to fix it. I got a new belt, a new idler, uh, the, the bracketry that holds it together because all of that got yanked off the car when it failed. Uh, so let's get started. All right, just for a quick reference, uh, there's a weird shadow for my, my microphone, right? Well, my hand's making a shadow too, but here's my hand. Anyway, the belt tensioner lives right there. You see that empty hole in the cylinder head? That's where the belt tensioner lives. You notice there's nothing there now except the hole. That's Everything got yanked off and thrown away from there. So I'm gonna be mounting the belt tensioner there. Um, in here in just a second, I'll show you what the new assembly looks like and get started on it. All right guys, so here's the new parts. I went, went ahead and went to the Dodge dealership and got the correct stuff because if you go to a, uh, a traditional parts store, they don't have this piece. This is the spacer and the, uh, the long bolt that's one assembly with this here tensioner. All right, it's not tensioner, I'm sorry. Let me say it correctly, idler pulley. Um, they all sell just the pulley itself and you don't get the spacer and the, and the bolt. And I didn't feel like trying to jerry-rig something up. So I went ahead and spent a little bit more money and went to uh, a Dodge parts department, you know, Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Plymouth, so on and so forth. It's all the same. But anyway, I went ahead and got the full assembly and I've also got, let me move the, the tools. Got a new belt for it. Might as well since I'm in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started putting this, putting this in here. Should be relatively simple. Um, just get it started. And it's started now. So I mentioned in the intro in the first bit of the video that I wanted to talk about being DIY. Like, uh, you know, being a photographer, being a, a cinematographer and all of that stuff because I was working at a job that I was very unhappy at. Now, so I'm not gonna knock anybody or talk smack about my old boss or any of that crap. I just, I found that I didn't feel fulfilled in what I was doing. And that's a, a hard place to be in, you know? Um, living each and every single day miserably because you're not doing something that you love, particularly when you have a set of talents. And I tell you right now, all of us have something we can do, uh, something that we enjoy doing. You know, life is too short to be miserable. And what I mean by that is, you know, let's let's get all smart and sciencey or whatever. You know, some of you guys probably have picked up by some of the stuff I've said that I'm a Christian. You know, and I'm not going to sit here and preach at you. So please don't click off the video. Just just for background on some of the things that come out of my mouth and why and why I say things the way I say them and so on and so forth. I I figure it's only fair to to note that, but. We all know the earth has been around a long, long time. Uh, hundreds of thousands of years, or however you want to look at it, be it scripturally based or science based or whatever. The, the earth, earth has been here a long time, right? So if the earth has been here thousands of years and our lifespan 
is 50, 60, 70, 80 years. Some people live longer than that, but you know, I've done a lot of dumb things. I probably won't make it to 100. I probably won't make it to 80. Just being real. Um, but anyway, uh, life is too short to be miserable. You know, why on God's green earth would you live every day hating life because you're doing something you don't love to do? And that's, that's the, the big realization I had in April of this year. And uh, as you see, I've already got the idler mounted that I'm putting the belt on now. Anyway, um, why on God's green earth would I choose to be miserable when I have talents that people will pay for, have abilities that I've been blessed with or worked my butt off and learned how to do why would I choose not to use them to find prosperity in my life? That's the question I asked myself in April, uh, kind of when my life went to crap and my job fell apart. And that's when I decided to uh, pursue doing what I love to do for a living. The point I'm, I'm going to try to reach in what I'm talking about today is why are you doing the same thing? Why? Would you do a job that you hate when if you merely just work on learning how to monetize your natural skill sets and things that you love to do? Because I'm sure we all have hobbies and passions. Why wouldn't you use that to figure out how to create income from it and make that your job, something you love to do? Uh, I don't think there's anybody out there. Well. <laughs> I'm gonna correct myself. I'm gonna shut up for a second. There is people out there that love to flip burgers and they have restaurant chains that sell burgers, amazing burgers, crafty, artsy burgers, and they make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year doing it. You know, so yeah, there is people that love to flip burgers. What I'm getting at is if you don't love what you're doing, life is entirely too dang short to spend it doing something you don't love doing. You know, money's not everything, but you only have one life to live and experience happiness, joy, peace, all these things that, you know, uh, we deserve. Uh, we've been promised if you're a scriptural person like I am, but even if you're not, if, you know, I think every lifestyle choice, every religion, every mode of living, and even if you think it's all every single bit of every bit of that's crap, uh, you'll at least agree with me that we all deserve to be happy. So, maybe you can't start today. Maybe it takes some planning, some work, some thought, some college classes, maybe a little bit of effort and research to figure out, you know, how to monetize your skill set, but I'm gonna implore that you start today and figure out what it's gonna to take to do what you love to do. Because it's really just not worth being miserable each and every single day of your life. You know, it affects, it affects your morale, it affects your friends, it affects your family. Uh, you know, if you're a miserable person, no one wants anything to do with you. Um, and it's a whole lot harder to be productive, even in your non-work-based things, it's a whole lot harder to be productive and find people that want to spend time with you and all sorts of things like that if you're just absolutely miserable. So why aren't you out there being happy? Because you can, you deserve it. We all deserve it. So I, and I'm sorry, I'm thinking and working at the same time, which never goes well for me. I'm uh, slightly simple-minded. Uh, but I guess all I'm saying is get started. Go find what you love to do. And I'm sure without much thought or process or uh, effort, you probably can figure out something that you really enjoy doing. And with a little bit of research, you could probably figure, find somebody that does the same thing that already makes money doing it. You know, just like as a photographer, there's a million people out there that are photographers. Uh, 
I just worked my butt off to separate myself by the quality of my work and in the in my particular style, you know. Um, but if you love flipping burgers, figure out what it takes for you to own a burger chain or open your own restaurant. Uh, if you love turning wrenches, figure out what it takes to turn wrenches for a living. If you love working on Mustangs, uh, I'm pretty sure if you if you Google search Mustang shops, you will find places that only do high performance work on Mustangs or Camaros or Ferraris or whatever it is. If you're passionate enough, you have enough drive and enough determination to put forth the effort and spend the time, you will find a way to do something you love each and every day. You will happily wake up before your alarm clock goes off to get up and go do it. And you will spend the fruits of your labor and money will come from doing what you love to do. Because people don't buy what you do anymore. There's a million places that do things. Uh, and by that I mean there's a million places to go buy a burger. There's a million places to go buy a set of headers for your car. There's multiple high performance shops. There's so yeah, I think you get what I'm saying at this point. People don't buy what you do. They can go on the internet and find it everywhere. They buy why you do it. And when your passion and your joy exudes from what you're doing and shows and you share that community, that passion, that feeling, that excitement, you, you can share that with your customers, the people that want something to do with you, you, you stomp the crap out of everybody else that does it immediately. Because people want to buy what you do, not what you, not what you do. Let me say that correctly. People want to buy why you do something, not what you do something. Uh, or not what you do. Um, go watch uh, Simon Sinek's Why Talk and your mind will be blown. But uh, I've been sitting here rattling on and guess what? I'm done fixing the car. There is an idler pulley on it and a brand new belt. So uh, it's time to try to start it. Let's give that a spin. All right, just for reference sake, I'll show you what I've done here. It's already zoomed in. I'm trying to avoid that shadow if you look let me get my hand down here in front of it. Right there at the tip of my finger, that is the idler pulley I just installed. And here's the brand new belt. It's been routed around. And I'm going to see if I can get even less shadows on this side. But yeah. New belt installed and everything's good to go. So I'm going to throw you guys on a tripod and turn the key and see if it blows up. I'll be right back. All right, guys, there you have it. A little bit of a motivational talk, and I fixed my, well, what's so, that shoulder? There we go. Fixed my car, so uh, there it is. I hope you guys are a little bit motivated by what I say, you know. I, uh, one, of the, one of the things I told myself when I wanted to start this YouTube channel is I wanted to inspire people to do something greater. Uh, and by that, I mean, get off your butt and do something. Uh, <laughs> that's that's uh, what I tell myself each and every day when I get up, is uh, be happy. Do something. Do something that makes me happy. Uh, pursue peace and joy, and, and all the things that are that are promised, whether you're Christian or not. Um, because life is is just too dang short to spend it being miserable. It's too short to do something you don't love to do. It, it's too short to just not be happy. Bump that, for the lack of a better way to say it. I'm gonna be happy. I'm gonna put a smile on my face. I'm going to do things that bring me joy and bring people around me, the people around me. Bring them joy as well, because we've got one life to live, and in, in, the, in the grand scheme of things, we're but a speck of dust on the face of this planet. We're here for such a short amount of time that if you can do anything to make an impact, if you can do anything to give somebody joy, if you can do anything to motivate somebody to to pursue happiness, to pursue joy, to to chase the things that they deserve and chase it with fever and passion and excitement. You know that's that means the world to me that's that's what I want to do and I hope that you guys can see that I hope that I make you want to do something new today I hope that I inspire you to finish putting your broken car together or to to seek a hobby and turn that hobby into a career or, or just you know be happy for the day I hope you guys had a great weekend I hope that the rest of your week is awesome and I'll catch you guys in the next video please like comment subscribe hang out let's build something awesome together all that being said 
Peace, and I'll see you guys next time.